Hey prehistoric crew, welcome back to prehistoric living. Coming at you from Neolithic Chetelhuyuk today, the UNESCO World Heritage Site I've been working at since 2012. Today I'm going to try and make a bi-directional percussion blade core, or a naviform core. So named because it's kind of boat shaped. I'm not afraid to admit that this one kind of intimidates me. I've tried to make a couple smaller ones before and they didn't go the greatest. This one's going to be a tricky piece of obsidian to work with. There's a lot of rough, kind of bubbly, especially on this side, it's very bubbly. Rough cortex on the surface on both major faces. This is going to be the platform that I use to remove blades from. These will be the two platforms, the opposed platforms, hence the bi-directional blade core terminology. This is the best piece of obsidian that I have to work with to do something like this. So it's really my one and only shot to try and do it this summer. I do have some large pieces of obsidian as well, but I have other plans for those. So I'm just going to get started and hope for the best. I'm going to be spending a lot of time just looking at it and analyzing the different angles and platforms I have to work with, planning my next moves. I'll try and edit most of those out, but if I don't get to them all, please bear with me. I'm just going to kind of figure this out as I go along. I want to try and get rid of as much of this cortex, cortical surface as I can, but it's going to be tricky. The angles aren't very great to work with to remove a lot of it, so I'm going to have to do a lot of preparation work to get this core shaped. And then I'll start removing blades in the next one if all goes well. Here goes. I'm going to move very slowly and methodically through this. I don't want to make any bad moves. I'm sure I will at some point along the way, but I'm going to try and minimize them. Looks like pretty good quality stuff right underneath. These bubbles aren't too deep.
Bent that one a little too high. Came up and overshot that a little bit. Gonna have to be careful there. I might have forgot to mention that it's July 21st, 2021 today. Need to try and get rid of this big lump here, coming at it from this direction. But I need to take another flake or two off this way first. Might be a good platform for might be a good platform for antler. But I think I'll just come at it with this one. Not bad. Got started on that.
Gonna have to remove a series of flakes starting down here to come back up. These angles aren't so good anymore, but I need to do some more work on this platform before before it's finished I need it to come in at an angle like this so that I can use this platform to remove blades this way One really scooped it out with a big bulb of percussion there. The mistake I made last time I tried to make one of these cores was that I didn't shape the core enough. I just tried to start removing blades as quickly as I could. was a nice one, got rid of a lot of that cortical surface, spread out in two directions. It's going to be a tricky spot to work with. This is almost a good angle to work with. I think I can Maybe 
take something off this direction first. But before I continue over here, I really should work this side of the core first. Try and balance things out a little better. I wanted to use that as a platform, but there was that loose piece on it I had to get rid of first. And now the angle isn't quite right. Maybe I can still get in there with the smaller hammer stone. Smaller than I wanted, but it's a start. This is a really tricky spot here.
I should note that this part of the process produces a lot of waste debris, as you can see. But this was all done at the sources. We don't find this kind of debitage at the, at the site here. Actually, we don't find a lot of evidence for these types of blade cores being at the site and being reduced and maintained at the site. It's most likely that the blades were removed at the source or at a workshop close to the source and then imported here to the site as kind of ready-made blanks for making tools with. Starting to look more boat shaped.
Not a lot of great angles to work with down here. I'm gonna have to do something drastic pretty soon, probably. that fixed a couple things. That was a bit much, it overshot. Overshot up there. Didn't really want that, but I guess it's not the end of the world. hoping to keep more of the material than I am. I'm losing quite a bit of it as I go. That's just part of the process, I suppose. myself with a tiny little sliver there. One that was stuck in the pad.
good. Making progress, but getting a little tired and sweaty and bleedy. Maybe I'll call that the end of part one for now. Take a step back, think about it some more. And then carry on. Yep, that's what I'll do.